Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, I'm basically doing a second half on these pre-made bulk spindle cables that apparently are coming from overseas. I'm seeing a lot of vendors now wanting to carry them in terms of uh, offering them with spindles to make, once again, the package look like a sweeter deal. Well, after close investigation opening up one of these bulk made connectors, you can see what we have here. I'm hoping she gets this on camera. I've removed two pieces of shrink because they individually heat shrink these. Of course, they can do that because this cable is not shielded, not double shielded. It is a mess to say the least. You can see fraying all over these connectors. And I left two pieces of shrink on straight from the factory. You can see the bag right here. We're gonna remove them right, right now so you can see on camera what you're getting. But look at this pocket that's missing solder. Both of these terminals are completely soldered incorrectly. And this is what you're putting your trust in. All of these vendors that are selling this crap, this is what they're offering to you in a three phase power cable. That means three 110 volt leads going to these actual terminals. Now when you think about that, that to me is terrifying. But let's see if they did a better job on these bottom leads. Let's see if I can get that off. Because of course, they think they're doing you a favor by insulating this crap. Let's see. Okay, this lead looks like it actually has a little more solder. Uh, again, I don't know if she can get that on camera. Uh, let's go to the next one because I'm getting a lot of questions on oh man your cables are so expensive compared to when I can get this crap well there you go nothing no solder at all bare so my next question is and this goes out to anyone out there who's purchased one of these um, or even a vendor that's selling one of these, because I'm sure vendors are watching my videos as well. Uh, I'm wondering, when is quality control actually tested on bulk made spindle cables? And the reason I ask that question, if there was a way to do this where you could actually do bulk made cables in a fashion that you could assure safety, you would not ever have to worry about making money because everybody would want one. The unfortunate side is when you go to these factories, there is no way to have any type of quality control done unless you have someone watching as some, every person is assembling one of these. There is no robot for this yet. So everything you see here, when you see these vendors that are offering these bulk made cables, they're basically saying, hey, we trust this person or this factory enough to produce cables that are safe for you, your family, or whoever else is working in your shop. And I hate to say it, but you heard it here first. Someone's going to get hurt, especially on something like this, and that's what's frightening. Um, I hope more YouTube videos are done exposing this kind of crap because this is terrifying. And this is why I don't charge what, I, what these people do for their cables. I can't. These, my cables are handmade. There's, they're totally, totally different than what you're seeing here. And that's what we're seeing on this market now becoming more and more the norm. Bulk packaging on high voltage cables. Number one, the gauge wire is not correct. These are 18 gauge. They should be 16 gauge to support a spindle's uh, power requirement. And then on top of that, these connectors are terrifying. Because remember guys, it only takes one poor connection to break. One of these connectors break, I don't care about their heat shrink and all this other crap, if that makes any type of conduction to the ground or uh, another area of the connector that's grounded, potentially that set screw inside there. I don't know if you can see that insulator screw. There's a Phillips head insulator screw inside there. She's just trying to focus. Let it come in. There it goes. Right there is that screw. If one of those leads makes contact with that screw, you'll have a dead short. A fire is virtually imminent. And if not, you're going to get shocked at the minimum. So think about that. Think about what you're purchasing. Think about who you're putting in danger with some of this crap. And it's really scary to me that vendors 
are looking at more profit rather than looking at someone's safety because this is going to bite someone. I'm telling you now, it's going to happen. It may not have happened yet, it's going to because one of these leads, and this one especially, there is barely any solder in there at all. And all it takes is a little jarring. And remember, these cables are always in motion because, again, your robot's always in motion, moving your spindle, and you're screwed. And on top of the fact, we don't know if flux was used. I can't tell if flux was used here. These connections, they look a little bit glossy. There's certainly not enough gloss to really dictate whether or not flux is used, but everybody can see just how little solder was used on here. These pins are supposed to be bubbled over and filled. That's the correct way to do it. You've seen it in my previous videos. This is terrifying. So again, now we've taken a look together and seen exactly what you get. This is what you get when you get bulk, bulk cabling. You can see the fraying here on the terminals, on these 18 gauge leads, which once again are not correct sized. And this is what you see. So when you buy from a bulk vendor, who's thinking that he's built buying you know spindle cables from a factory and claiming that the quality is impeccable say how do you know the quality is impeccable that's the first question you ask did you actually build the cable because if you didn't build the cable and you didn't see him seal it up guess what do you think he's going to unassemble that cable to see if everything is done right no he's not that's the difference between custom made cables and somebody doing it where they're trying to order in bulk thinking oh hey I, my overhead is low i can just flip these be careful, guys. I'm telling you now, be careful. I hope the video's been helpful. Thank you all for your support. Take care.